Time Fires, which is a series of five minute conversations with artists on the subject of one recent work. And today I'm excited to be speaking with Oren Pinassi, uh, direct from his apartment in New York City. Hi, Oren. Hi, Jeremy. We're going to be talking about, I think, your most recent work, which is uh, called Stools. For you, I always thought that, you know, like the human, the human figure was always somewhere in the work. Now we see it more mm -hmm. overtly, particularly in this piece, Stools, where just even in the proportion when you're standing next to the sculpture, they, you know, they relate to us. Um, yeah. They sort of talk about behavior. What is your view on, on that relationship? And also, does that have something to do with the reason you're depicting bathhouses, um, you know, public parks, uh, glory holes, like these kind of quite specific intimate mm -hmm. spaces? So the way I'm thinking about figuration and using figuration in the work um, is as an opportunity um, to create an experience of the human figure the human body as something that is not so hermetically separated uh, from the environment that it, that it is in the natural uh, and the built environment um, that that we design um, but that design us in return in stalls i was thinking about objects that take on the architectural function of separating bodies um, and I started by thinking about a room divider, um, then public bathroom stalls, um, stalls in, in public showers or spas, um, but also the, you know, kind of glass reception windows in a bank or a post office with those holes in the glass that are designed to exchange money or letters or to speak through, you know, that are kind of representing this, this fear of the other's uh, body. When you look at the human figure in, in stalls, it's this kind of ambiguous hybridic uh, figure that the top of the figure mimics the arch top of the stalls and into these, these holes in the glass that comes from this uh, bureaucratic context, you have this ambiguous body parts that are penetrating it in something of an erotic um, act. And I think I was trying to deal with or um, maybe create or duplicate this, this paradox, uh, this contemporary paradox um, of, of being connected uh, yet, yet separated or, or alone, um, of seeing each other but not being able to touch. And, you know, somehow touch this kind of um, process of, of the abstraction through technology of human interaction. Something that people always ask about when they first see the work is, is how is it made and what's your process? I think you built this process up over a long time and it's very distinctively yours. Could you talk a little bit about like your method and how you came to it? Because of this interest in architecture as this complex object um, that we design and, and is designing us in return. Um, I was always I was always looking to use um, basic construction materials. And several years back, I used mostly um, wood uh, for my for my object and installations. And I slowly became um, frustrated with the rigidity of woodworking. Um, and with the geometry that, that I could produce um, using it. You know, I just realized that I, I just don't identify um, very much with those right angles, with the disappearance of the body, um, with the disappearance of figuration, um, the kind of abstraction of, of the structures that, that um, we live in and by. Um, and, and I looked for more, uh, more fluid materials that, that will help me create this, this kind of environment that, um, that is expressing this collapse of boundaries that between objects and bodies and categories that, that I'm interested in. I also realized, you know, the tendency of 
new materials that you kind of insert into the practice to to kind of act from within and slowly on their own change the geometry and the character and the shapes of the work and so therefore also change the narrative of it and the histories it refers to or or uh, reinforce um, but also you know maybe the potential futures of uh, of the work and and maybe also um, to suggest something of of some ways in which maybe we can think of of our own potential future um, and and that for me goes back to this logic of this erotic logic of a loss of boundaries thank you so much for taking the time to speak to us about the work Oren. thank you Stay well, stay safe, and we'll see you very soon.